2021 has been a pretty great year for esports. Lands are back, tournaments are hype, and we've seen some insane plays. From crazy multi-kills to insane clutches, 2021 has given us some incredible moments. So this week, we wanted to count down our absolute favorites. But before we get into that, our friends over at Predator Gaming are helping us bring you another holiday gift guide. Here's Keith with what he wants for the holiday season. You heard Danny, we've teamed up with our friends over at Predator Gaming to bring you guys a holiday gift guide this year. You're gonna be getting to know each and every one of our hosts a little bit better and what we're looking to get our hands on this holiday season. And hopefully we can give you guys some ideas too. Let's get down to mine. During the pandemic, I became, well, just a little obsessed with custom mechanical keyboards. And you've got our friend Teha, who we covered in our Offbeat show, to thank for that. So naturally, I gotta put it in order for Mode Studio's new Mode 80 10 keyless custom mechanical keyboard kit in black. It's just too clean. I bought the DualShock 2 keycap set a few months back, and hopefully it arrives before like 2025, and I can't wait to pair the two together. Next up on my list, we've got the Aimee Leon Door New Balance 550 collab. They're just the best shoe of the year. Every time I record a video, the majority of the comments are sneakerheads commenting on the shoes behind me, so you know I had to stay on brand. In my opinion, New Balance's sneaker game had a massive coming out party in 2020 and 2021, and this collab is no joke. I'd probably go with gray or navy since they go with everything. Last up, we're going back to tech, but with a little bit more of a practical approach. The pandemic seems to be chilling out a little bit, fingers crossed, and that means we're going to be back on the road for work. And I need a laptop that can handle everything my job asks of me, and my nightly gaming habits. Luckily, our friends over at Predator Gaming have exactly what I need in the Triton 500 SE laptop. This thing's got an 11th gen H-series Core i7 processor and a 3060 all jam-packed into a laptop body. It also has enough streamlined cooling to not completely roast your legs with all that power. And that's enough to make my Christmas list easy. You can check out the Predator Triton series laptops at your local Best Buy. Now, let's get back to Danny and the top 10 plays of 2021. Thank you to Keith for that. And now it's time to get into the top 10 plays of 2021. Kicking off our list is safe and his big brain double kill at the Stockholm Major. Can he line up the double? Can he actually do this? There's one, knife's out. Oh, save! This was a great year for Brazilian CS. There was an incredible amount of representation at the Major and things are looking good for next year. But Brazil is going to have to try pretty hard to top safe double kill against Astralis. Even if you get a kill here, You've got to be real careful. Megas is leaning over from the other bomb side. I don't really blame Safe for not taking the shot right away because they know it has to be lightning fast. They have to get a kill, get the bomb plant all in five or ten seconds, or it's going to be. Can he line up the double? Can he actually do this? There's one. Knife's out. Oh! Safe! Now, Pain might have ended up losing that round. In fact, they blew their lead and ended up losing the series, actually. But context doesn't matter when you pull off a play that flashy. Coming in at number nine is Simple and his record-breaking ace. Simple to break the record. No one has found four aces at a tournament like this. And here it comes, a record breaker from Simple. He takes all five. There are a ton of incredible plays from Simple's undefeated major win that we could have put on this list. But we've got to give respect to something from a few months earlier. The moment Simple broke the record for the highest number of aces in a single event. Fires off a warning shot and Simple as well does one better. And they're just walking in. Oh my goodness. He one just more for the ace, Alex. That for... record breaking ace. He has got the opportunity and he's going hunting for it appropriately. It's Hunter that could give it to him. Simple to break the record. No one has found four aces at a tournament 
like this, and here it comes, a record breaker from Simple. He takes all five. That's right. At IEM Cologne 2021, the GOAT got four separate aces. Each one was a beauty, and that record-breaking performance should remind you just how dominant Simple was this year. Eighth place goes to Heat's quadruple no-scope ace from Masters Berlin. This ain't pretty! <laughs> Doesn't even need to oh zoom in! God. Doesn't need! No oh, oh, way, Heat! Dude. Get out of here! Get out! You should have seen your faces! After a year of pro Valorant, we've seen plenty of plays worthy of making this list. But this one is by far the best. Heat got four back-to-back -back Marshall no-scopes to secure his ace against Zeta Division. Let's see if there's anything left in the tank. What can they bring us here? Already Heat's going to spot out most of the play and also just takes off. Oh, McKeever's head, the follow-up as well. This ain't pretty. <laughs> Doesn't even need to zoom in. Doesn't need to zoom in. Heat, get out of here. Sure, the Marshall is a lot easier to handle than the AWP, but that doesn't make a play like this easy. Four no-scopes is insane. Taking the seventh spot on our list is Danny's Pentakill against 100 Thieves. It's Danny versus the 100 Thieves, and Danny's, Danny's gonna get one! Danny could get two! Holy God, he's so damn good at this game! In game four of an LCS 2021 championship match, Evil Geniuses were on the ropes. Down 7k gold with just three towers left standing, it seemed like 100 Thieves were about to close out the game. 100 Thieves push to end the series with one last team fight but Danny held his ground. Good barrel damage the front line might die it's EG forced to run no a damage on Abadaga nearly kills him off contracts gonna be low gonna be dropped one for nothing push back now no one's left alive they've got to run they've got to run no Danny steps up and Danny shuts down one mid laner is dead though oh! it's gonna be another oh! kill in Danny is doing Danny! it all Danny shuts down FBI the rookie of the year puts his team on his back but he's one versus two someday an abadaga can only watch him knock down the wave as they can't push the base without minions and danny single-handedly keeps eg in the upper bracket it's danny versus the world it's danny versus the hundred thieves and danny danny's gonna get one danny could get two holy god he's so damn good at this game Danny absolutely dismantled the first three to get that triple kill, but for some reason, someday an Abadage decided to go back in and feed themselves to Danny Boy for the unofficial Penta. Freak spit it, uh, I mean, said it best. Okay. I don't want to hear it, Kobe. Okay. <laughs> that was some of the best play I have literally ever Woo. seen in League of Legends. I agree, but there are words to describe nope. it. <laughs> Coming in sixth place is this absurd millisecond clutch from G2's Virtue against BDS. Virtue downing him at the last second wins it out. Unbelievable with a few bullets to the toes can do. It can win you a whole map, ladies and gents. We'll go into map number two. We know this happened in the 2020 EU finals, but that event happened in January 2021. So it's making the cut. G2 were in overtime against BDS and Virtue was stuck in a 1v4. Brid was well into planting the diffuser, giving Virtue seconds to stop it, but he was a floor above them with no line of sight, or so we thought. Here we go, it's gonna all come down to this 15 seconds. I said they can't leave it late. There's the first one from Pengu, starting off what happened in the last round, but two kills come flying through. Virtue has got to do it all by himself here if he wants to keep this one going. He finds one, picking off Renshira from above, but he has got work to do. Can he see the moment for the plan? He sees the feet, he sprays, he puts no it down. Way. He just won that. Virtue downing him at the last second, wins it out. Unbelievable, with a few bullets to the toes can do. It can win you a whole map, ladies and gents. We'll go into map number two. Cracking the top five is Collapse and his brutal skewers against OG at TI. You show me what OG is in the fountain. It's good, not this time. As they pull him back down again, no tail dies. Yeah, you want to give him a moonshot. You can go right with them, all right? Oh, Join at the hip. Join it. 
everyone was asking themselves if OG had it in them to win a third TI in a row, but Team Spirit answered that question pretty quickly. OG were down and were relying on Sumail to hard carry them, but Collapse shut him down by skewering him and no -tail straight into the fountain. Again. He's sitting on an OBS and Sentry now for Sumail. Wait, Portos again! They got Sumail! They don't have Chrono afterwards, but they might not need it. Mira continuing to control, looking for another round of this. Oh, RP gonna get off the mark oh, and collapse! Falls to Beckett! What in the hell? Sumail has a Ghost Scepter now inside the fountain. I don't know if he bought that or not, but figure death out! Usually when OG is in the fountain, it's good! Not this time! As they pull him back down again! No Tail dies! Yeah, you wanna give him a moonshot, you can go right with them, alright? Oh. Collapse basically smurfed TI with Magnus, hitting skewer after skewer on his way to lifting the Aegis. Coming in fourth place is Viper and his incredible clutch triple kill against FPX. Oh, no! What? Way! What? How does Viper do it? How does he manage to triple kill at the most crucial point of the game? In game four of the LPL Summer Finals, EDG were down. FPX were looking to push the series to game five, and after they started a team fight by killing two members of EDG, it looked over. Things looked grim, but Viper wasn't ready to give up just yet. He flashed forward into three members of FPX and danced perfectly around them while killing them all. The jungler as well, don't be on the back line. In comes Flandre, but the stop punch has come on through. Flandre with a huge NAR ultimate. Maybe this is it, but FPX still firing out. Viper! In goes Viper! Turning no! around! Oh, no! What? Way! What? How does Viper do it? How does he manage to triple kill at the most crucial point of the game? Any mistakes would have surely been GG. Instead, Viper denied FPX the Infernal Soul and opened the door for an EDG victory. Coming in third place is Refresh and his insane Galil 1v5 clutch against Team Liquid. Doesn't swing, he thinks it's a fake. Refresh oh! with all five! And we're going to overtime! In map three of the ESL Pro League season 14 quarterfinals, it looked like Liquid had the series locked up. They were up 15-14 with all five players up against only Refresh. All he had was a Galil, but that was all he needed. Can't find a thing, still in fallen, making it happen, making Team Liquid be that semi-finalist refresh as good as he's been, as much as he's given us. This is a Team Liquid victory teed up. He's on for a third. Now fly dead as well! Refresh! How are you making this happen? Grim, the pit hero, the guy who's dug deep throughout this entire series to save that A-bomb site, has now got to come in clutch at B. Refresh on for the ace in a one-on-five clutch. He's looking to keep his legacy in check. This never should have happened. It should have never been this close. Grim, his heart's racing, his heart's beating, but Refresh can't find him. It's a guessing game. Stick on the bomb. Grim doesn't swing. He thinks it's a fake. Refresh oh! with all five, and we're going to overtime. Depending on who you are, that play was either the nastiest, most inspiring clutch of all time, or the most soul-crushing moment of your entire life. Sorry, Liquid fans. Second place goes to Rockman and the most BM play of the year. Welcome to MSM, everyone. What kind of read was that? Most of the plays on this list have been unbelievable, innovative, inspiring, even beautiful. This play, well, it's all of those things and more. So much more. Yo! Oh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute! Hold on. Yo, welcome to Ultimate, baby! Oh my God. <laughs> Are we playing Minecraft? Yo, we're building! Oh! 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 I'm at a loss of words. This dude was playing Minecraft on him. How do you even come back from that? 
Only one play could take the first place on our list though, Cadian's historic clutch against Gambit to win Pro League. The leader, calling well above his years, clearing corners. Oh no! You're an animal! Heroic have done it and I just can't believe it. 40% of their team, only together since February. You know it. I know it, we all know it. P250, no armor, knife, 2 HP, it's the play of the f***ing year for a reason. Ah uh, yeah, ah uh, yeah. Oh, oh my god, he's knifed him, and he's gotten away with the orb, I'm starting to get nervous. There's no way, there's no way, Katie, you can't win Pro League like this! You can't win Pro League like this! No way! Axiles left, 40 seconds and the bomb's on A. Take your time, son, you're about to make the play of your career. The leader, calling well above his years, clearing corners. Oh no! You're an animal! Heroic have done it and I just can't believe it! They said he couldn't win Pro League like that, but he did. And we will never forget. Well, there you go. Those were our top 10 plays of 2021. What do you think of those? Were there any plays that didn't make it on the list that you really think should have been there? Either way, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in 2022. Again, the return kill's coming in. I have no idea how this is happening. Range is forcing his way in with Carrigan's help. The clutch, my goodness, Carrigan, is there time? Oh my god. Very quick to go out there and try and help Shocks. And now Boom, which is in the corner. They're not even going to check it. He's going to turn around. You didn't get your knife earlier. So oh, now. Oh, no! The knife could have done it again.